Hey, welcome back and uh, thank you for tuning in. So, today we are going to try and get ready to install the backsplash. So, I've already shown you the uh, aluminum backsplash that I'm going to be using and I determine which direction I want the backsplash to go. So, we're going to put it up here on the back here just like that and uh, yeah, I think that's going to look pretty cool. So the first thing that we're going to do is mark our lines where we want the ends to be and then, uh, well, install. So I am going to uh, mark a couple of lines here on the ends, probably extend that by a quarter inch on each side. And then that way when I cut my uh, molding to fit, it's actually going to fit over the uh, aluminum and then the edge of the uh, trim is going to be against the wall. So I'm not sure if you can get a visual of this here, but this stuff is about an eighth of, eighth of an inch thick. So I'm going to come past my line about a quarter of an inch and when I trim my molding to fit, I'll trim the back edge so it just overhangs by an eighth and that way when I put my molding over top of the aluminum the uh, molding will still touch the wall so it should hide everything all the seams and everything really nice and on the top edge here just in case I don't get it trimmed perfect uh, I will also put a piece of oak trim up against the uh, cabinet bottom and that will hide the seam up there the only seam that will be seen is down here on the bottom uh, on the countertop which I'm not too worried about I think that's uh, still gonna look fine so for that uh, we're gonna be using our square and of course my handy dandy pencil will mark our lines and uh, I'll uh, clean off the wall we'll probably use some denatured alcohol or something like that just to, to wipe off any grease from the fingers and everything that over time been touching and uh, dirt and stuff like that. I want to make sure that that's very clean so when we install the backing that's actually going to stick to it really well. And we'll do uh, piece by piece. We'll probably take, um, I'm not sure how to cut this on the instructions. They're showing a uh, metal grinder to cut the uh, aluminum but I think I'm going to use a bandsaw. So we'll get pieces cut, trimmed, put in place, and we'll use a little roller uh, to roll that in place, make sure it sticks really well. So with that, let's go ahead and mark some lines and figure out where we want this backing to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our square up here. We're going to rest it on the bottom of our counter, our cabinet and go right to the edge of our molding right here. Then we are going to take and mark our line very lightly here and also we'll flip it over and make sure that we are fairly square which we are and then I'm going to mark from the bottom up. There we go. So that will be the edge of well, a quarter inch past this mark here is where the uh, end of our uh, backsplash is going to be. And then we'll overlap that with our molding. And I'll do the same with this side over here and we'll get ready to install our backsplash. So with things out of the package, you know, it looks really nice. <laughs> looks really nice back there. And uh, I was thinking of coming to the edge of the molding here and not putting a trim, but and I just can't decide now and uh, yeah and then taking a, another piece be nice to hide it behind the curtain just like that so uh, it would look something something along that line what do you think I think that's gonna look pretty cool and then uh, probably trim that and that would sit up here like so, with a little bit of a gap right here, which 
which wouldn't be too bad instead of butting it all the way I'm not sure yet I'm not sure yet well gonna have to play around with that for a little bit and see what I can come up with so we started installing the tile our backsplash and uh, <laughs> let me tell you this stuff is unforgiving so if you don't have it in place the first time uh, trust me you will ruin <laughs> you will ruin some tile so the first time I tried to install just this little piece here I kinda had it crooked so I thought I could just peel it back and try it again but no when that makes contact it's on there to stay so I uh, wasted one square getting this one off and trying to clean it up and uh, I kind of think I, I think I figured out a process in order to put this stuff on without it uh, <laughs> getting ruined so I have two and a half pieces installed and we are about ready to install the third piece here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back one side a little bit get it in here where I think I want it and then uh, I'll peel it the rest of the way off and then we'll stick it and we'll call it good and then we'll be ready for the top piece up here Whew, let me tell you <laughs> this stuff is uh, tough to work with so this is my first try and uh, I'm no professional. Mm -mm. So let's give it a shot. Try to install this. And uh, well, hopefully it goes on in one piece. So I'm going to put it in position where I think I want it. I'm going to peel back about a quarter of the way on the tape, stick this up here where I want it, and then we'll uh, peel the rest of it off as we go. So hopefully it. Uh, it works out right the first time so we're gonna lay this down we're gonna peel off the backing here a little bit all right so we've got the backing peeled off just a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and position this in where we want it and hopefully it's right the first time and we'll go ahead and try to put that in place where we want it. Then we'll grab our plastic here. Go ahead and peel it back. And take it off the rest of the way. And voila. And that piece went on pretty well. Then we take our roller. We'll start here in the center roll some air out here a little bit like I said once this stuff is stuck on here it's on there for life I think I have that piece where I want it. So let me give you a shot overall what it looks like and then we will worry about the top section. So this is our backsplash so far and uh, that's about as wide as we are going to go and then we will go up underneath the cabinet here and then uh, last but least we will put uh, some sort of trim around the edge here. I don't know if I want to go to the edge like this or if I'm going to overlap and I will probably overlap just because but that's a chore so it's kinda come along and now I'm gonna start fitting the pieces up here so I have to trim some pieces and, uh, and then we'll get those fit and installed then we'll give a shot what it looks like uh, totally finished so there it is
So one plus is it does cut very nice on a bandsaw. So I cut the top down a little bit. I chiseled that little notch that is going to go around our little trim here. And then uh, when we fit this in place, it should slide in about right like so. And then all this will be hidden by trim and uh, we can call that good. This will be hidden by trim. So that is kind of the idea how we're going to do it. Now we just got to get that piece installed without ruining it and uh, man hopefully I can do that. That should look pretty nice once it's all set up. So once again I'm just going to peel off a little bit of the backing and then I'll put this in place and it is going to fit just like that. I do want to line up these lines and uh, this edge here I'm not too concerned about because it will be hidden by trim but I need to get this accent line here straight so and also laying flat here so uh, yeah wish me luck Yes, that does look good. So now we'll take our roller and we'll start here in the center. So I think that's going to be pretty pretty nice looking. So next we'll do our next square here and uh, we'll work our way down until we get to the end and hopefully problem free. But I do think that's going to look fairly nice. So this is actually easy stuff to work with as far as cutting and perhaps drilling but uh, like I said once you stick it it's stuck for good so make sure to test fit and uh, get in place right the first time before you uh, <laughs> before you move on. So the way that I am going to uh, custom fit this is I set it up in place I mark it here and on the other side over here where I want the uh, trim to be. Then once I uh, make my marks I connect the lines so I've got me a line that I'm going to use to cut. Once I cut that edge then I'm going to turn it over and I'm actually going to install it this way. So uh, with any luck uh, I should have a fairly decent uh, line up here. We will see. Alright, so we went ahead and trimmed this on the bandsaw. Got us a nice edge. So the next thing we do is test fit it. So we're just going to slide it in place. We're going to set it right here on the bottom edge, slide it in, and look for uh, a nice seam right here, which we do have. So, there we go. Nice seam on the bottom, nice seam here on the side. Looks to fit very nice. So next thing to do is to peel back our tape and uh, get it in place and hopefully we do it right the first time because like I said once you stick it down there's no getting it up without tearing it apart. So let's give it a shot. Alright so we have our backing peeled away a little bit and I'm going to try to get this in place right the first time. We're going to slide it in here. Just like so. Alright, so we've got a nice seam on the side here and on the bottom. We'll take and peel this back a little bit more and hopefully put it in place just right. Oh 
yeah. There we go. Just like so. And then we'll take a roller, roll that out, and uh, we can call this one good. Start in the center. I think that looks very nice. <coughs> so let me give you a shot of what I'm looking at. I know that the, uh, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it is looking very sharp. So this is uh, what it's looking like so far. And well, I am becoming happy with it. Uh, at first, at first, when I put my first piece on, I was getting a little discouraged because I ruined a piece, and uh, twice actually, and before I was able to get it installed correctly. So, anyway, we do have a, just a little bit of a gap under here, but that is going to be hid by a uh, trim piece that's going to go up here just like this. So we can hide all edges and we will do the same on the side here. Um, probably doesn't need it but I like the edges to be eh, covered. So anyway I think that's looking pretty sharp. So now I have uh, what two pieces, two and a half pieces left to go and uh, before we can call it done. So we're ready to install the last piece and uh, it's already trimmed. I've got my notch for around the trim here at the corner and we'll get this in place and hopefully we can uh, position this in such a way that it looks very nice. So. Let's peel back some tape, we'll get that installed, and then we'll do a little bit of cleanup. And I'm just going to kind of grab a hold of it like this so I keep a hold of it so it doesn't get trapped behind there. And put this in place. just a little bit. I'm pushing it and I'm pushing down just a little bit so I make sure I get it in the right spot. Pull back just a little bit more. Get the bottom in here. And pull that little blast bit out. that in. Alright. Take our roller, start in the center. Here we go. Our backsplash is installed. And I think it looks really nice. Nice touch. So all that's left to do is a little bit of trim work around it and uh, then we can call that finished. So let me give you a, let me clean up a little bit and then we'll uh, give you a shot of what this thing looks like uh, totally installed and then what I plan on doing afterwards. Cool. Looking good. So here's a shot of the uh, finished backsplash and I think it turned out really well so it diffuses the light that are on here uh, I know that on the camera we still have our little baby moons but uh, when you're standing here looking at it you don't see that as uh, uh, defined as you do on on the camera so uh, I think it looks <laughs> really well and I'm I'm pleased with it yeah, I think it turned out really nice. A little bit better than I expected. So, uh, next is a little bit of trim work on there to finish it off. And uh, I think that looks good. So, <clears throat> that is how I install my backsplash and what I used. And, uh, yeah. 
All right, so we're going to get ready to cut some trim for the sides here and then the top. So what we need to do is take our little handy dandy T-square and we need to figure out the depth of cut here. So we're going to set it up on top of the uh, backsplash and push the rule into the wall and tighten her down. I have about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to trim my uh, molding down an eighth of an inch. That way when it lays on top it will roll around and touch the wall. Give me a nice flat surface, conceals everything, and it should look pretty nice. So let me get the uh, wood cut. We'll set it in place and uh, see what it looks like. So I took my molding, which was a one inch by one inch, and I uh, trimmed one edge down so where it is an eighth of an inch on one side. So now we can set this up here in place, and we can overlap our molding and it'll touch the wall so it gives it a nice seal across there and we can fasten that on. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that looks all right. So to get this measurement for this length here, all I'm doing is uh, I'll measure up from the bottom and I'll go up about 12 inches happens to be about, about here and then we'll measure down from the top which gives me uh, ten and five eighths so twenty two and five eighths take the twelve 10 and 5 eighths, add those together. That's the length of our stick. So we'll uh, go ahead and trim that one, get it cut to fit, and we can set it in place and make sure that it looks good. And then we can uh, attach it. So now that we have all our sticks trimmed to fit, I pilot hold and countersunk where we're gonna put our screws. And we'll put our trim up top and we'll go ahead and fasten these. And then we'll give a shot of what it looks like when it's finished. Alright, so we have the piece for under the cabinet installed. And we have one side installed. So I used uh, three 8 by 3 quarter inch brass screws. And uh, all we have is one side left. Then we can clean up and we can call that good. Okay, so... Uh, Everything is attached now. So this is the final final layout of our backsplash. Everything uh, is in place. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Cool. Well, that was a fun little project. Um, a little challenging at first trying to get everything lined up. But uh, yeah, it went on pretty good. Everything fell in place, so... Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Cool. Well, that's the end of this one. Next is a uh, couple little projects still I have left to do, button things up. But uh, yeah, next weekend maybe, maybe a little something major. So with that, we'll call this video a wrap. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a th uh, thumbs up, like and uh, leave a comment if you want. And until then, stay tuned.